Hi, and welcome back to Sweet Fantasy. And now we have got a predicament, haven't we? We have found one of the endings, which I believe was ending one, and then in the last episode, we had another ending, which was ending four. Oh, wow! What the dickens? We failed at getting the mushrooms and then we totally failed at getting the ingredients for the potion. So, like I said, I'll start from thingy. Uh, thingy? The start. Dun, dun, dun. If you want to hear me read out the dialogue from previous episodes please do go ahead but as i said in episode two was it that if i failed and i have to go back and retrace my steps which i obviously have to because i started a brand new game i will be skipping the whole scenes to the choices that I've made and then choose a different line and continue skipping until that choice gives me new dialogue so I do believe this first skip will be left or right uh, I chose right in the first episode and then decided to take a dip in the lake, which was okay, but we failed. And then to get where we was for the previous episode, I went to the left. And I had to make another decision from there. So let's go left again and skip right here we go again we collected the flowers and that allowed us to have flowers to give to miss amethyst even though we failed getting the mushrooms it still allowed the game to carry on because we got her a gift. So this time, continue to search for shrooms. No, I can't be distracted. Flowers are nice, but Mistress sent me for Ammonite shrooms. And I do uh, apologize if my S's and P's and pops and everything else comes through I've actually noticed it on the editing ever since I've changed the editing software that they have been coming through uh, much more and I do apologize I've got a pot filter on but it just seems to not be stopping that so we have to look for the ammonite shrooms so let's carry on let's switch to them i got to explore every inch of the meadow i looked under every leaf under each flower but still haven't found it stupid mushrooms who even created those perhaps the case of it some mushroom crop failure okay strange where did they all disappear to I swear if shrooms had a mind I'd think that they were conspiring against me really hmm how do I even know that they have no intelligence you never know they do live do plants live of 
course they do. They they grow and obviously when they look all withered, you say they died. So they live. Wow. That is so much of mind-boggling uh, biology there. Right, in a house. Let's continue. Those fungi are mysterious. I can't say anything for sure. I am sure that we have knowledge of it. Thinking of mushroom mind, I began to look for them more carefully. You'll never know what will come to their mind or that they have instead. Okay, this is mind boggling me. In any case, I would not want to meet with intelligent mushroom and even more so with a bunch of intelligent mushrooms. Oh, and I just <laughs> got even called conspiracy theory. I'm a nut. I spent some more time searching for shrooms, but it was no use. Perhaps it is time to give up and go home before it gets really dark. You have got to be kidding. That just that one decision to search for flowers enabled me to actually win the game and not get an ending. But choosing not to pick the flowers has ended the game. Well, what can I do if there are simply no mushrooms at all? Without thinking, I turned back, hoping that I wasn't completely lost. Oh my god, wandering through the woods a bit, I finally got to a familiar place. Uh, I was so relieved I didn't get lost. Now I can certainly find my way home. I wonder if Mistress is at least a bit worried about me. And there we go, that is the village. And this dialogue we have heard it before so let's go to skip we see her ending one ah uh, oh, freaks blimmin' what the hell start off the episode saying look i don't want to uh copy any dialogue because for me I would like to obviously get onto the game, record, get going, and that's it. But if I fail and come back to that game, I'm just repeating myself and I don't like doing that. And obviously, people don't like seeing that, I guess. If you do, fair dues, but for me, I just don't like repeat myself saying it out so I will be skipping dialogue which has come up before to the point that I haven't come to it so we have gone actually no we have gone both ways the left way it has only gave us two options which they are totally clear so now we know for 100% certainty that the right way is the right <laughs> way so i will because this episode is short enough i will turn around and say right let's get this sorted and go right <laughs> how many rights can i say in this episode oh start so let's skip we'll go right this bit we've uh already right out because obviously it takes us to the lake so skip go for a swim or search for the shrooms we went for a swim last time that was the ending so by taking away all the equations and everything else this is 100% where we find the shrooms I decided that it would be still better to get 
job done. With a sigh of regret, looking at the sparkling clean lake water, I began to look for mushrooms. At first I searched all nearby bushes but there was nothing there. Then I walked along the path but still found nothing. Let me have at least one mushroom coming home empty handed after a few hours in the forest seemed rather foolish to me. And the mistress will make sure to not entrust me any tasks anymore. And when I almost felt down, I saw a whole little family of Ammonite shrooms behind some bush. And hey ho, there we go. We have found the shrooms. Smooth red, white, spotted, perfect catch. I immediately began to collect mushrooms. Too bad I didn't get a basket big enough to collect them all. Such a large number of fungi will be enough for mistress for a long time. Well, finally she will be pleased with me because lately I haven't been capable of doing anything. Although it is not my fault. I just cannot get out of my head the thought of Miss Amethyst. And she doesn't even look at me. No wonder I became clumsy. Perhaps she does not even realize that I like her not as a friend but what if she'll find out and try to fire me oh that would be terrible but I've got to show her how I feel about her mistress have quite temper but it's a good thing because of that it's hard for her to have a relationship with Anyone. That's why she's still single. That's kind of harsh, isn't it? Maybe I still have at least a small chance. Okay, time to go home. I've done everything I could. I just hope Mistress will be pleased. Without thinking, I turned back, hoping that I wasn't completely lost. And there we go. We are back at a familiar place. I am going to 100% save that there. Return. Now. Because we are doing a successful run so far. I... I know what I just said earlier about not repeating myself and everything else. But, for the interest of a walkthrough, where this is a 100% so far legitimately the correct path we are taking. Because all the other times we have failed and we didn't even get any mushrooms. Now we have, so, I reckon, I should actually repeat myself, but, I am going to end the episode here, it is a successful run, we have found another ending, and then now we have found the mushrooms. I will be repeating the dialogue, but with how much it is from here till 
the potion. I think the dialogue actually changes uh, because of the fact that I've actually got uh, mushrooms. So, yes, end it here and we'll continue with a 100% successful walkthrough. And that's why I'm doing it. Okay. So thank you very much to everyone who watched this episode and made it this far, of course. And hopefully all you lot are having a fantastic day. I know if you enjoyed the episode and I will see you in the next episode of Sweet Fantasy and fingers crossed on a 100% walkthrough. See you then.